Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. A lot of buzz and a lot of noise coming out of Lincoln, Nebraska regarding the quarterback position via the transfer portal. Most recently, that of former Ohio State quarterback Kyle McCord, who is scheduled to meet with Coach Satterfield tonight. Going to break down a few of these quarterbacks that we've been hearing a lot of buzz about. Give you guys some of my takes regarding how they fit into the Nebraska offense, what they've looked like at their former schools, Really excited to get into this one. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and a special shout out to the Nebraska fans. This is a program I've absolutely loved talking about, but the amount of support you guys consistently show it, it truly does mean a lot. Some of the best fans in the entire country. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a feeling we're going to be talking a lot of Nebraska football the next couple of weeks as Matt Rule works to overturn, not overturn this roster, but make some, make some additions via the transfer portal. So again, if you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with Kyle McCord, the most recent quarterback. I don't know if there's a, a more unfairly treated quarterback across the country than Kyle McCord. He's a guy that completed 66% of his balls for over 3,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, and the number that most Nebraska fans probably care the most about only six interceptions, two of which he threw against Michigan. And one was kind of one at the end of the game where he was trying to make something happen. This is a guy that has played at a high level, has taken care of the football. Sounds exactly what Nebraska wants as a quarterback in this Nebraska offense. We've said this kind of throughout the year and we said it to recap the year as well. This Nebraska team is not that far off. I mean, you go five and seven, turning the ball over, as much as Nebraska did, and with quite frankly, as poor of quarterback play as they had, that kind of shows you if you turn around this quarterback position and you kind of figure it out, this is a team that's going to be very competitive in 2024, which I think for Nebraska fans, you should be pretty fired up about. Now, Kyle McCord and how he fits into this Nebraska offense, the first thing I want to talk about is Kyle McCord's a winner. I mean, he's a guy that was down four points on the road at Notre Dame and led Ohio State down to a game-winning touchdown drive. This guy is 11-1 and as a starter in 2023. The only loss is to Michigan. And at the end of the day, when you're the Ohio State quarterback, the standard has been set extremely high, right? C.J. Stroud, Justin Fields, Dwayne Haskins, J.T. Barrett, all phenomenal quarterbacks at the college football level. And yes, there's an argument that Kyle McCord maybe didn't live up to the Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud kind of hype. That doesn't make him a bad quarterback. And you take a look at this kid coming out of high school, top 50 national recruit, 6'3", 215 pounds, a phenomenal arm. Any throw that you want Kyle McCord to make, he's going to be able to make. And for Nebraska fans, I think the most important thing that you're getting with Kyle McCord is a guy that's won a lot of football games and hasn't turned the ball over, which is part of playing winning football. Now, the one downside of Kyle McCord is not as mobile as some of the other guys we're about to talk about. And Nebraska, the last year, wanted to use their quarterbacks as kind of that dual threat, running the option, let them be athletes with the football in their hands. Kyle McCord is not necessarily going to give you much value as an athlete, but again, out of all the options that we're going to talk about, Kyle McCord is by far the most talented arm in terms of throwing the football and pushing the football down the field, something that Nebraska hasn't really had. And another thing I would probably point out is if you go out and land Kyle McCord, I think Nebraska suddenly becomes a, a really exciting option for wide receivers to come play in as well, right? This wide receiver room is extremely young. It's extremely unproven. They're going to add a veteran wide receiver. And if you have Kyle McCord locked in as your quarterback in 2024, there's going to be some wide receivers that say, yeah, I would like to go play in an offense that Kyle McCord's throwing the football. And so not only landing Kyle McCord would be exciting because you're getting a really good quarterback, but it also might entice some other wide receivers to take a look at Nebraska in terms of playing wide receiver in this Nebraska offense. Now, the next guy I want to talk about, and probably the guy that I think would be the best fit in this Nebraska offense, and that is Will Howard. And very similar things that talked about Kyle McCord you have with Will Howard. I mean, he's a winner. This is a guy that has been a fundamental piece in this Kansas State's team's success over the last couple of years. In 2022, he led Kansas State to a Big 12 championship. You look at Will Howard's numbers, 5,700 yards, 48 touchdowns to only 25 interceptions. But what you're most excited about with Will Howard is he seems to fit right in with how Nebraska wants to run this offense. 6'5", 245 pounds, bigger than most linebackers. 
that will be trying to tackle and has run for almost a thousand yards in his career. Probably the the best threat on the ground in terms of these four quarterbacks that we're going to be talking about. And I think a lot of Nebraska fans, if you follow Will Howard at Kansas State, would say this is the type of quarterback we want in Lincoln. Really, really tough. He's a competitor. He's a leader. You take a look at Matt Rule is not only evaluating talent on the field, but he's evaluating the character of these guys. And Will Howard, I think, would fit the character of what Nebraska is looking for at the quarterback position to an absolute T. And again, proven winner has taken care of the football at a high level. Kyle McCord, Will Howard, I think both immediate upgrades in terms of the quarterback one for Nebraska heading into 2024. Next guy I want to talk about, and a guy that sneakily like should probably be getting more buzz than he is in the transfer portal, and that's Blake Shapin coming from Baylor. Now, I did some research. was like, oh, maybe there's some Matt Rule connections. Actually, no Matt Rule connections. He committed to Baylor when Matt Rule was already in Carolina. But Blake Shapin, a guy that he's won a lot of football games for the Baylor Bears. And yes, they've had down years the last two years. But in 2021, Blake Shapin led the Baylor Bears in the second half of the season to a big time Big 12 championship. So again, like Will Howard, you're getting a quarterback that's won some really big games. And yes, the numbers for Blake Shape in the last two years have not been great. But you take a look at that Baylor offense. I mean, the protection was next level bad in 2023. Doing some research on it. The Baylor offensive line gave up 119 pressures in that 2023 season. Blake Shapin was battling some injuries. When Blake Shapin, Shapin has been given protection and some weapons on the outside, like that Baylor offense had in 2021, Blake Shapin was a phenomenal quarterback, and he's a very good athlete. He's not a guy that you want to run a bunch because he ain't 6'4", 245 pounds like Will Howard is, but he's a guy that can extend plays and can move and can make defenders miss in space. You take a look at Blake Shapin's numbers during his 2023 year. I mean, a 61% completion percentage, over 2,000 yards passing, 13 touchdowns to, again, only three interceptions. If you're a Nebraska fan, what you're looking at a lot is the turnover margin. Like, are these quarterbacks, have they shown the ability to take care of the football? Because you take care of the football for this Nebraska team in 2024. You took care, if you have those kind of numbers for this Nebraska team in 2023, they're winning a lot more football games than just five. So a guy like Blake Shapin, a guy like Will Howard, a guy like Kyle McCord, all have proven at the college football level that they are taking care of the football, not turning the football over. And that is music to Matt Rule's ears. It's music to Coach Satterfield's ears. And I know it's music to a lot of Nebraska fans' ears as well. The last guy I want to talk about, and kind of an interesting one that you don't have a ton of feel for because he hasn't played much football at the college level. And that's Sam Levin. Coach Satterfield met with him. He might be taking a trip to Lincoln, Nebraska for a visit. Sam Levitt, a really interesting story. Had to do some background reading on Sam Levitt. 6'2", 200 pounds, phenomenal athlete. So again, kind of fits that bill of using the Nebraska quarterback as a weapon in the run game as well. This kid's tough as nails and kind of was under-recruited coming out of the state of Oregon. And he goes to Michigan State. He plays a little bit as a true freshman. He finished up with numbers 15 to 23, 139 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, actually threw a touchdown against the Nebraska Cornhuskers in their game this year. This would fit the bill of what Matt Rule has been kind of talking about in terms of getting a young quarterback that has room to develop into this program. Sam Levitt, not experienced like Will Howard or Blake Shapin, but it's a guy that has a lot of traits that you like. He has a strong arm, and you go back to his senior year of high school, a guy that was under-recruited until his senior year, where he ends up throwing for 3,600 yards, 36 touchdowns, and starts getting some offers, gets up to a four-star ranking coming out of high school. Sam Levitt's got a lot of traits. I think he's got a lot of room to grow, but he's not necessarily a proven quarterback. And that would probably be your one turnoff of Sam Levitt is you're not necessarily for sure figuring out your quarterback one in the transfer portal if you're bringing Sam Levitt. He's probably going to compete, and you're not sure if he's necessarily going to win that job. I think with Kyle McCord, Blake Shapin, and Will Howard, you're probably getting your quarterback one in the transfer portal if any of those three decide to come to Lincoln, Nebraska. Now, my take on it, the guy I would go with if I was Matt Rule and Coach Satterfield and all three of these four of these quarterbacks said yes, I'd rank him Will Howard, Kyle McCord, Blake Shapin, and Sam Levitt. And the reason I would go with Will Howard is that I think it makes too much sense. And I think a lot of Nebraska fans who have followed Will Howard in his career would say, yeah, he's a Nebraska quarterback. I mean, tough as nails, can run the football. He's a leader of men. 
that's all of what Matt Rule is looking for at the quarterback position. So Will Howard would make the most sense, but man, I'd be lying to you if I wasn't a little bit excited about Kyle McCord. This is a dude that was a top 50 national prospect, and he was for a reason. Really good arm talent. He takes care of the football, can make any throw on the football field. Kyle McCord, I, I think all three of these guys, Will Howard, Kyle McCord, and Blake Shapin, a guy I'm higher on, much higher on than most, would immediately come in and upgrade this quarterback room for Nebraska. And I, yes, am I optimistic that some of these Nebraska quarterbacks can develop going into the 2024 season? Absolutely. Matt Rule has said that as well, but it would be really nice to make a lot of Nebraska fans feel a little bit more comfortable if you got a proven guy from the transfer portal that you know what you're going to get. Sam Levitt could be that guy as well, not counting him out, but these are the four quarterbacks that have been getting some buzz for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Really excited to see how this one plays out. If any news happens, We'll be covering it again. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all later.